computers how to get started branding SharePoint using the new Brand Center. It's incredibly easy and it lets you brand Viva Connections too. Let's get straight into it. Now there are some gotchas with this as well as some hints, some real strong hints from Microsoft about what upcoming features are gonna be available for this. But before we get into that, let's just get this thing up and running so you can see what it does. First, we're going to be going into the Microsoft uh, 365 Admin Center. We're going to go into Settings and Org Settings. Then we're going to look for the Brand Center. It's in preview status right now, so we'll click on this. And so it's a really simple, pretty basically foolproof way of, of doing this. Uh, if you already have an organization assets library deployed, it's going to default to that site. And it's, it's, I think you're forced, actually you are forced to use that particular site. I don't have that deployed. So what I'm just going to do is uh, I get the, the option of where I want this thing at. Uh, it's defaulting the brand guide. Sure. I guess that'll be fine. We'll also have to agree and activate the public CDN. So public CDN is required for this. So uh, no way around that. We're just going to have to do it. Once this is created, we're going to go into the SharePoint Admin Center and go check out the new site. And actually, we could just skip the whole admin center. Uh, you can go in there and change the uh, permissions for this particular site, just like you could for you know any other site in the admin center. But we're just going to go straight into this site. Now, what we need to do at this point is click on the gear icon and go to Brand Center Preview. So here is the special page set up to manage the Brand Center. We'll be able to upload fonts here as well as apply uh, font packages to SharePoint and Viva Connections. But what we want to do right now is just upload some fonts and see how they look. So we've just got basically a document library here. Let me copy over some fonts. All right, so I've got a whole bunch of Roboto fonts here. Notice that you can't delete them once you upload them. They are, they are here for good, but you can turn off the visibility or the visible uh, flag on these. So if you want to take something out of uh, out of production, make sure it's not available in the future for, uh, for site owners to use, you could just toggle that visible flag and it'll hide it. But once we've got this done, let's just go to a regular SharePoint site and check this thing out. So I'm on a SharePoint site here, and let's go down to the gear icon and change the look. Now we've been here before, but there's a new option. So this font preview, well, if it's, if it's not in preview anymore, it'll probably just say font, but it's in preview status, so we've got font preview. Let's click on this, and you'll see the font packages available. Now, we didn't configure a font package. What we just did was, was upload the fonts. What you can do at this point without configuring font packages is you can go in and change the fonts based on the out-of-the-box font packages that Microsoft provides. So you can quickly change it to different ones that Microsoft have has given you to change the look. Now, if you want to be able to use your own fonts like the ones we just uploaded, we're going to have to go back to the Brand Center and configure a font package. So let's go do that. So we're back in the Brand Center. We need to go and apply the brand to SharePoint, which is really creating a font package to be available for SharePoint or Viva Connections because you can do that in here too. But let's go into SharePoint. We'll go to add font package and then we're going to pick two different types of fonts. We're going to pick the display font and we're going to pick the content font. And you'll see here that the display font is used to emphasize more important items. So we'll pick Roboto because that's the only one we've got uploaded. So we'll pick Roboto for both. You'll see a preview here of what it's going to look like once it's active. So we'll click next. And then we'll, we'll have to assign them to different types of content, the title, the headline, the body, and then interactive content, which would be like buttons. So for each of these, we're going to pick a font like Roboto and then choose a style. So maybe we do, um, um, bold condensed for the headline. We can do bold for the body. We'll do regular. And then for interactive, we can do 
We'll do bold here as well. So with that done, we'll click next and then give it a package name so we can call this one Contoso Official. Uh, we can toggle whether it's visible or not. So if you're still working on this, you want to tweak this a little while, you can keep it invisible until it's ready to be visible to other people. And then we can click on save. Oh, you can also click on uh, these different tabs up here to kind of see how this is going to look. So we'll click save. So now our, we're back on the font packages screen. We've got our first package here with a little bit of a preview of what this looks like. Let's go back to our uh, SharePoint site and apply this. Change the look, font preview. And then now you'll see this new area from my organization. So all of your available font packages will be here. So we can pick Contoso official and it's applied. Just save those changes and we're done. So we've got our SharePoint site branded. We've got our custom fonts applied. So let's talk about some of the limitations during this preview period and what that might mean for the general availability of this and what it means for the future uh, features of this. So first, you're limited to one brand center during the preview period. That's what it says. And I think what it says is it currently allows one brand center during preview. So that means we might be expecting multiple brand centers, which could help out with different parts of the organization. And the second limitation is that it says it currently only does fonts. So what this means is we could be getting support for uh, image branding, uh, other things like that. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities because it's a lot of different parts of what brands a particular uh, website. It's not not just fonts. Now, one of the other limitations, it, pro it, may, it may or may not change, I don't really know, but it currently will use the organization asset library. Uh, if, you have, if, if you have a site with those on, uh, with all your organization asset libraries in there, it will force you, as I mentioned before, to use that one particular site. Now, if they break from this convention and it doesn't have to be the OAL site, then uh, we'll get an update and I'll probably uh, let you guys know somehow. But just know that if you do have OALs deployed on a particular site so that you can have your, all of your uh, organization images in a common location. By the way, if you want to see how that works, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to make that video. But if you have that site with those libraries, it will force you to use that one at the moment. Don't know if that's permanent or if it's just a temporary thing while they get some different architecture in place. You know what I mean? So what do you think of this brand center? I think it's really cool. I think it's a lot better than what we've had before to do to do branding. It allows organizations to really set guidelines for how uh, how content should be presented within SharePoint to make to make sure it's a consistent look and feel across all sites. Now, I, I, what I would like to see in the future is I want to be able to see the ability to force font packages on SharePoint sites. I think that that would be very, very good. It would be a, a wonderful quality of life feature so that you could enforce that consistent look and feel. I think that is needed. That's what I would like to see uh, in an upcoming release, maybe general av availability. Maybe once this, once this thing gets uh, GA, it will have that. Maybe I haven't seen where they've talked about that yet, but I would like to see some sort of a policy where you can apply that. But let me know what you think down in the comments below of this brand center. Uh, we think we've been waiting for quite a while for this thing. It's here. And so far, I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see another cool video, then click up into this corner here to get started.